Just take your rabbit, whatever size he is. This, this is a pretty good size snowshoe here. Caught him last night in the snares. Basically all you have to do, put him on his back, open up the fur, and the fur just peels right off like it comes off like a jacket almost. You just give her a couple of yanks all the way around. The fur comes right off. As you can see, like you can you can take the fur off of this thing in a matter of seconds. As far as the arms go, this gets a little bit trickier here. You almost need to pull the arms out. Just like a like taking them out of a sock type thing. So see how it's starting to come out there? You just pull right out. And you do that for every one. For you first time guys, I would really recommend, you know, having a sharp blade because you're going to end up needing that afterwards. I'd also recommend having a trash bucket to throw all your remains in because you don't want to be getting that on the floor or anything like that. And if you're a little bit squeamish, I'd recommend wearing gloves because getting blood all over your hands for first time risk might, you know, scare you a little bit. But anyways, if that doesn't bother you, don't wear gloves. That's just, uh, it's all personal preference. Like I said, all these arms come out. There we go. Go back that fur. So basically the first half of this is really just deferring the animal. But like I said, that's probably the easiest part. So now we have them all deferred. Obviously you're going to need to run them under some water and stuff because there's still, a, you know, little pieces of hair and stuff on them. Basically this is the part that can get a little tricky, or start to get tricky anyways. So this is when it would come in handy to have, you know, a hatchet and have a nice chopping block. For me, all I have right now is my Remington knife. And uh, I have it pretty sharp. So what you're going to want to do is, do you see where there's still fur around the paws? Basically, I'm just going to saw it once or twice. You hear that snap? Find the groove again, hit it, and maybe just cut her off. That's how you get the limbs off. So you're going to do that for every single one. And when doing it fast, it's pretty easy. See, they come off quick. Now with the hatchet, it would just be one simple chop and it's off. But like I said, I can't really use a hatchet inside whereas I don't have a chop block. Back legs might be a little bit tougher too, guys, because they're a bit bigger. And see, this is where all the good meat is in the legs, both front and back. And there's a bit on the back straps on the back of the back. So anyways, get these off. Another leg. These things are supposed to be good luck too. <laughs> I'd also recommend putting a bag under whatever you're doing this on. Alright. So there, you have most of your rabbit done. Now it's just for the inside and for the head. So, as far as the head goes, you're going to do the same thing as you did on the legs, believe it or not. A little bit tougher though, because you're breaking right through his, his neck, right? So what I do, I just cut in a little ways until I hit bone. This is where you need to give it a nice strike. So one, two, three. It should come right off. Rabbit head. There you go, guys. So now you're at this stage of cleaning a rabbit. And I'm doing this a bit slower than normal to show you guys how to do this. Normally a rabbit takes me anywhere between two to three minutes. But I'm doing it nice and slow so you guys can see. So now this is where you need a sharp knife. You're going to feel down until you feel a hard part right here. Which is just almost like a pelvis bone. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to put your knife in very gently. And just along the top of the skin make a couple cuts. 
there's a sac in there that you do not want to puncture because the sac itself is filled with urine and feces and you definitely don't want to taint the meat. So that's the hardest part of this whole operation. Yeah, I didn't break that sack. That sack there is all full of feces and stuff. So you definitely don't want to break into that. So just following the skin up the body, you're just going to want to keep making little cuts until you get right up the rabbit, right up to his chest cavity. So when all said and done, your rabbit should look something like this and you should be able to see all of the innards. And this here is a sack that you didn't want to puncture because it's all full of feces. So at this stage in the game, it's all to do with your hands. You basically reach up into the chest cavity and you just pull everything out. So in a matter of seconds, all your rabbit guts right into the trash bin. Of course, you reach up at this point and pull out anything extra that's in there that doesn't look like it should be there. A lot of people do eat the organs. They do eat, you know, the heart and all that stuff. These side straps here, this is skin. I don't eat that. So all I do is just cut down the side of the rabbit. Take that off, trash bin. That's on both sides, so. Cut that off, trash bin, and now, basically, with a knife, just cut up into the lungs, and you reach up and you pull everything else out, heart and all. So there you have the heart, rabbit heart, the jewel of the species, and you just pull everything else out. Basically guys, that's how easy it is to clean a rabbit. And I know at first it kind of looks like a lot, but really once you get used to it, especially if you're shooting them a lot, this gets pretty easy. So one last part guys that you're not going to want to forget about is the pelvic area. So it's that hard bone down here. Um, and basically underneath of it, a lot of feces and a lot of urine is stored. So basically what you're going to want to do with a knife or a hatchet, line it up and just hit it once. Basically you break through and you reveal all that crap underneath and you just pull it out. You definitely wouldn't want to bake a rabbit with that still on it. Anyways guys, at this stage in the game, run your rabbit under some water, get all the blood, all the excess skin tissues off and stuff like that, and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed my video guys. Stay tuned.